This is game two between Panda Warrior and um, uh, Durta. Panda Warrior is commanding Nervii, Durta is commanding Arverni. Still the Battle of Tur. Nervii definitely not a top tier barbarian faction. Neither is Arverni really. They are great against many factions in the game, but against barbarians they kind of suffer a bit due to having... Uh, it's mainly because their chosen swords are mm, not... <sighs> the chosen swords just cannot stand up to tribals and uh, uh, sword followers. They do have an opening if they use Vercingetorix. But it looks like Durta went for the strategist Oathsorn. Then he has two Oathsorn in the center. Six chosen swords for Heavy Horse. Two Celtic Slingers, uh, four Levy Freeman. For Nervii, we have uh, one Gallic Hunter, two Celtic Slingers. Then we have Naked Spears, Naked Warriors, uh, three Levy Freeman, a total of six Fierce Swords, Oathsorn, Budognatus General. Then we have five uh, Mighty Horse. And Mighty Horse, it's sort of a toss-up between Mighty Horse and uh, and Heavy Horse. If Heavy Horse get a great charge, uh, Mighty Horse is going to die. If the charge is somehow interrupted, the melee stats of Mighty Horse has 47 melee attack, uh, and uh, and uh, Heavy Horse has 42. Mighty Horse has 35 melee defense. Heavy Horse has 42. So. Uh, it's mainly uh, the health of the Heavy Horse is better, um, but Mighty Horse is a decent unit. Heavy Horse is just better for the price. Uh, more cost effective, heavier mass, which of course we know all about that mass. Panda using a super wide formation here, and he can afford it, uh, keeping his cavalry on the flanks, sending these units into the forest. Very nice of him to send these units into the forest. Cavalry is going to be much less effective against them there. Still going to wreck Naked Warriors, but Naked Spears... Uh, naked Spears are absolutely going to wreck Cavalry. Uh, he can afford to keep... Because he keeps a distance... Between his Levy Freeman and his Fair Swords. He can protect the Fair Swords from missiles... And... Um, cavalry charges. Fair Swords have a beastly charge bonus. But they are sort of like... Uh, Celtic warriors with better attack, um, melee stats, health, and morale. If they get a if they get a frenzy charge off on these chosen swords, the chosen swords are gone. But any cavalry charge against the fear swords is going to absolutely wreck them. And the same goes for missiles. Missiles are devastating against uh, fear swords. So while uh, Durta is keeping a coherent force here, Panda Warrior is starting to split up, keeping a weak center with skirmishing support, and moving around on the flanks. He has his Oathsorn General on the flanks here, together with some Fierce Swords and Mighty Horse. Durta is going to start extending his own flanks. Durta can't see these units now that are in the forest. Uh, potentially a very dangerous flanking force of Naked Spears and uh, Naked Warriors. Cavalry counter tactics and a 25 bonus versus large is uh, an amazing combination against cavalry. I hope we'll be able to see just how quickly these guys can kill cavalry uh, if, if, if they're in the forest and the cavalry doesn't get a charge against them. Here we have some uh, cavalry moving into the forest for Durta together with some chosen swords. Always nice to be able to support your cavalry units. Panda Warrior is going to start firing uh, in the center with his Gallic Hunters and Celtic Slingers. Uh, these Levy Freemen are, of course, uh, super high value targets uh, that he really needs to take off the field in order to have any chance of winning here. And uh, the looks like the Mighty Horse is going to charge into the Chosen. The Chosen not going to be able to throw their Javelins. Uh, the follow-up from Heavy Horse is going to be bad for the Mighty Horse. But these, uh, these Naked Warriors and uh, Naked Spears, this is a perfect engagement for them if they can get in to the fight in time. 
Celtic Slingers firing into the f uh, into these uh, mighty horse. They are sort of in a forest, so that's going to help them. Uh, Chosen Swords only lost uh, not a great charge for Pamba because he didn't follow up quickly enough. So this mighty horse lost a lot of mana, didn't really do much. But this charge from the Naked Warriors that's going to destroy some uh, some Chosen Swords. Not using Frenzy for the Naked Warriors. Uh, Naked Warriors actually lost a lot of men on that charge. They do not like getting charged by heavy melee infantry. Here we have the Naked Spears, attacked in the rear by the Heavy Horse, but using cavalry counter tactics, you should see, th see this Heavy Horse just start disappearing. And that is indeed what's happening now. The Heavy Horse unit is dying so, so quickly. Naked Warriors just jogging after it and doing a lot of damage. Still skirmishing going on in the center here. Uh, firing at the Oath Sword now, doing a significant amount of damage to the Oath Sword. Oath Sword don't have great shields. Charge here incoming, nicely done by uh, Durta in in supporting his uh, supporting his chosen with uh, these guys, and the mighty horse starting to drop quickly. But these chosen swords, when they got charged here by fierce swords, uh, they're not going to last for long. Fifty-five morale is just not good. Uh, it's decent, but it's definitely not great. Panda warrior moving around on the flanks looks like he's going to be ready to engage soon. This Levy Freeman absolutely should get a volley off on the Fear Swords. The Fear Swords drop super quickly here to Celtic Skirmishers. Uh, over here it's sort of a clusterfuck, but Durta is losing a lot of his Heavy Horse and not really getting anything in return for it. These naked units for uh, Panda Warriors are still alive and well in the forest. Nicely done here by Durta in blocking the t uh, blocking the charge potential of the fear swords here on the side, but he, he's 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 very weak here. So Panda Warrior could just smoke through these Levy Freeman units, and uh, he's actually going to pull away the Levy Freeman and then charge in with the heavy horse, which isn't a bad idea. The fear swords are going to take a lot of damage on that charge. Just look at how uh, the heavy horse destroy fear swords on the charge. In the center, these fear swords got stopped. Uh, devastatingly so. On the flanks, Panda's depleted units are going to rush in and go for the for the chosen. So he's sort of instead of going for the full-on rush, he's sort of picking his engagements, picking apart the units of um, Arvernia. These Oathsorn have taken so much damage from missiles, and they continue to do so. One of the greatest weaknesses of Oathsorn is going to be missiles. Can be a bit surprising how quickly they die to missiles. Uh, this is a good example of it. They cannot stand and take fire from even Gallic Hunters and uh, Celtic Slingers. And here you can see this is actually, I'm going to, well I'm not going to pause, but this is a very nice uh, example. The Gallic Hunters are getting kills faster than the Slingers, uh, but the Slingers are going to be able to fire for much longer than the Gallic Hunters due to increased ammo. So in the end the Slingers should uh, start getting more kills, but having a few Archers and Slingers is very nice for taking out these high value targets. And now when the Oath Sword get charged by the Fear Swords, the Oath Sword is going to drop quickly, but so the Fear Swords are going to drop very quickly as well. So all across the map, Panda Warriors units are getting the better of these engagements, completely winning in the forest here. Very nicely done in using naked units in the forest. They have gotten a lot of kills uh, over here. And this, this blob is of course very bad for Durta. One unit of Mighty Horse holding off these units while these units are just pouring the fire into the blob. General of Panda just disintegrating these... Uh, these chosen swords. And the fair swords are, they are glass cannon units. They have a great charge, but in any kind of prolonged melee, they're go not going to do well. So they really need the rest of the army to do damage to the enemy units and uh, start getting the kills. Naked spears and naked, sor naked warriors are going to take care of these chosen swords very convincingly. Old sword going down in the center, and at this point, it's basically only the general of uh, Durta that's doing fine. Panda Warrior needs to be a bit careful here because his general is about to get ganged up on. But at this point it, it doesn't really matter much because even if Panda loses his general, he has more than enough ammo on his Celtic Slingers here. Uh, he even has some ammo on his Gallic Hunters I believe. No, I think they're out of ammo now. 
but his Celtic Slingers have. We're going to have a look at the kills, compare the kills at the end, because the Celtic Slingers are of course cheaper than the Gallic Hunters. So I think they'll be able to outperform them in terms of kills due to having more ammo. So the old sort of panda is being attacked in the rear, but these levy free men are just going to die super quickly now to fear swords. And uh, this old sword general, he's he's soon going to be unsupported alone, get charged by naked warriors. Here we have uh, mighty horse fighting against levy free men. They obviously don't want to do that. They want to pull out, charge into the chosen swords, try to break them, possibly turn around and break the levy free men. Very nice user of Levy Freeman just screening away the skirmishers. And here you can see the Celtic Slingers are starting to outperform the Gallic Hunters because they have more ammo. These Celtic Slingers are uh, not firing, maybe they are out of ammunition. They have been firing for quite some time. These kills are fairly low because they have been firing at Oathsorn for, for most of the battle, except for when, when they fired at the Levy Freeman in the beginning. Panda doesn't want to lose his general at this point, so he's just going to pull him out. Probably go for a second charge. Which is going to mean that the old sword of uh, Durza is going to get surrounded. I don't know why he isn't attacked in the rear at this point, because... It looks like he should be. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. He's going to... He's going to do well against these uh, depleted fear swords. These fair swords are going to get a good charge, frenzy charge, into his back, and we should see the old sword start to drop quickly now. 57 charge bonus. That is that is basically cavalry, a cavalry charge bonus. He breaks because of the army losing, and again, very nice battle. A uh, bit closer than the first battle. These fear swords um, did okay, naked swords did okay. A bit of a toss up between the Gallic Hunters and the Celtic Slingers. The Celtic Slingers are cheaper, so so they are, um, in the long term, they are usually more cost effective if they're kept alive. Nice high value kills on the naked spears. One of these mighty horse that cleaned up the skirmishers did really well. Um, and, and in sort of um, a combat ability, it's, it's, it is a toss up between chosen swords and and fierce swords. Uh, chosen swords a bit more tanky, fierce swords devastating on the charge, but they just die so so easily. And nothing really stands out on Arverni's side. The chosen overall do okay. Um, but I mean Panda got 111 kills on a Levy Freeman, so that's just uh, one of his Levy Freeman outperformed three of the chosen swords uh, and all of the heavy horse of uh, of Arverni, so that's how dangerous they can be. So, Panda Warrior takes the series, he's going to advance to the next round of the tournament, Strength and Honor.